that you would not go through with this. There's still time that you do not have to go through with this. We, there are other options, there are other avenues. We'd love to talk. Just please consider that this is a human. He can still appeal to the man. He has this window rolled down. Yeah. Sir, we'd love a, an opportunity to reason with you this morning. I can't see that you're looking over here or not, but sir, if you're looking at these images, it's hard to, to wrestle with the truth of these images. You look at this. And that's what you're going to do this morning. That's what you're participating in this morning. You're going to do this to your own child. To your own flesh and blood. You're going to rip his head off. And you're going to have to live with that for the rest of your life. You're going to have to live with the fact that you killed your baby. So we're here this morning to make you feel guilty now to prevent a lot of guilt later. I've made mistakes in my life and if there had been people behind me that said, Rusty, don't do that, man. They might have pre prevented a lot of guilt. That's what we're here to do this morning, sir. We're warning you that you're not just avoiding fatherhood. You're just going to be the father of a dead baby for the rest of your life. You need to think about that. You need to think about the fact that what you're doing here this morning isn't just supporting her decision, but you're driving the getaway car like the accessory to a bank robbery. You're just as guilty. Sir, you're not innocent this morning. The blood will be on your hands. And I don't know if you're comfortable with that or if you're totally hardened to that idea. But sir, I'd be very concerned about you if you had no prick in your conscience. If you didn't feel anything towards this baby. I don't know how you feel about these images. This image to my right. This is a 10-week-old baby. 10 weeks, sir. That's first trimester.